Kathy of QuarterstoneConfessions.com, and today I have my daughter with me, and we are sharing with you one of the new Candlelit Press books, picture books without words that we have been enjoying. So tell us a little bit more about it, Teacup. This is a white book. Yeah, this is a white book. Yeah, this is a white book. And there's a mistel white, and then there's some pink. Who puts the pink on the page? A boy, and there's some more pink, some more, and that's all. Then a bullet flew away. And then he made blue fish, and there's some more, and then... And then they all swam away. Oh dear. What else happens? And then he may make something green. And it is a diamond tree. scared of it. So he makes something gray. And it is an elephant. And then it got out of its place. And it he was trying to push it back, but he couldn't, but just because it was too big. Then he made something yellow, and it was, and it was a giraffe, and it suddenly picked it up. Did he like that? No. So what did he do next? Next, he made the ant eagle. What color? Of an ant eagle, it was a purple. Yeah. And then you can get his rolling paint. His paint roller? His paint roller. So, what did he do then? Did he have anything left to paint with? But there's nothing there. But there's nothing there. But something, there was something there, and it was just a dog. Oh, wait, wait. Don't show them the last page, because the last page is a secret. So, we don't want to tell you what happens to the last page. But did you like that book? Yes. Yeah? What's your favorite page in the book? Uh, uh, the first one. The first one? I mean the dog one. Oh, the dog one. I think the dog one's my favorite, too. All right. So show them one more time the new white book. This is a great book to, that doesn't have any words, that kids can learn to tell stories on their own. And Teacup did a pretty good job of that today. So thank you, Teacup. And I hope you'll check out this book called The White Book by Candlebook Press. Bye.